In the year 2005, December 8, an investment firm made a critical input error on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. They were supposed to sell one share of JCOM stock at 610,000 yen. But instead, they mixed up the two numbers and were selling 610,000 shares for one yen each. This error has costed a loss of 40 billion yen in one day, which is roughly 380 million USD. Now, in the investment world, if somebody loses money, someone else must be making that money. Upon investigation, the biggest winner in this incident turned out to be a 26-year-old unemployed man named Takashi Kodagawa. He has earned a total of 2 billion yen, which is roughly 70 million dollar USD in one single trade. And later we will learn that he took his initial fund of 14,000 USD at 21 and grew it to 153 million dollar in just 8 years. In Japan, he has many names. Some people call him the investment god of Japan. Some people call him j -Con Man. But he has another name for himself. B-N-F. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where it's the best place to learn about Canadian finance. For this Tuesday, I want to do something different and I want to start a new series where once a month I'm going to look into a very unique legendary figure in the investment, real estate or business world. We're going to look into their lives and see what we can learn from them. So without further ado, let's continue and look at BNF and see what we can learn from him. The name BNF was believed to be named after another Wall Street legend, Victor Nederhofer. BNF was born in 1978 in Japan, and growing up, he has quite an ordinary life. He goes to school like all other kids and attends university. His original plan was to become an employee and go through the same 9 to 5 daily schedule just like everyone else. Until one day at 21, he came across a Japanese stock trading book for beginners. Knowing himself to be an extreme introvert, he decided it was better for him to just study and trade stocks by himself at home. According to his own stats, he had started trading at the year 2000 with $14,000 USD and within two years, he has grown it to $1 million. By 2005, he has further exploded his net worth after the JCOM incident. During this time, he has also been sharing every single trade he has made on a famous Japanese forum called the Two Channel under the alias of BNF. With millions of dollars in net worth, we would expect BNF to be trading in his mansion with a crazy 12 monitor setup or something like that. But instead, in the first interview after the JCOM incident, we found out that he actually lives inside a tiny apartment and trade on his super old school desktop. And his lifestyle would be what most people consider dry and boring. In an interview in 2008 by the Tokyo TV station, BNF reveals that he literally never leaves his apartment nor does he have any hobbies. He gets all his meals at the convenience store downstairs, he does not travel, and spend his days researching on stocks or playing video games. So what can we learn from this mysterious investment genius in Japan? Now, what we need to focus on is not his techniques, outlook, or research skills. Instead, it's his attitude towards money and investing. I'm going to quote another Japanese day trader expert, K, and his explanation of BNF. And why I think he is the master of trading is not just because he is good at trading or not because he is smart. So what is it? It's about emptying the mind without any emotions attached to the trading. When he was talking about how much he earned on the month, he said he gained a million dollars on the month. But when he talks about it, his faces move, no facial expressions. And I still remember it gave me the most impact and it was very sensational to me at the same time. Actually on the TV program, the interviewer says, for example, when he looks at uh, the BNF's trade volumes, he says, wow, I cannot stand with that pressure to deal with that much money, with some difficult and struggle face on it. Right? Or when he realizes how much capital BNF has, he goes, wow, so you can't live now without 
working for your entire life with some big smile on his face. Now, the second thing that caught my eye when I was studying about BNF was him mentioning that he will never ever withdraw money unless it's used for his goals. Actually, after the interview, he withdrew over 100 million and he bought several buildings into his portfolio. But like he said, during the investment, he never looks at the pot and he never starts thinking about what this money can do for him in his future and his life. Because once he starts thinking about that, he will be prone to temptations when the market moves out of his expectation. And this might lead him to make a lot of irrational choice because now he links his livelihood directly with the money he's investing. And from my own investing and working with over 200 clients on their investment, just by sticking on these two principles mentioned by BNF will already make you a better investor than 90% of the average investors out there. Investors out there actually do not master these two principles and that's why in a long stretch of time, most of them actually have super poor results or they end up losing money in the long run. Now, of course, most people cannot live like BNF and act like a robot and basically just trade every day and research every single day. This is why I believe having a solid investment plan is extremely important before you jump into investing. An investment plan is not really just researching on what stock to buy. That's not it. There are different components to it and it's meant to act like a guideline for you in the future if things happen in the market that's outside of your expectation, you can refer to this original guideline to see what should your appropriate action be to offset the change. This is going to save you from a lot of emotional moments and decisions you might make that might make you regret further down the road. Now, I've actually recorded a video right here talking about the top five mistakes that investors usually make and that's why they're losing money. All right, so how was it? Did you guys like the new series where we're learning from the legends and see how we can improve on our own finance? Now, I've actually established a private Facebook group for all the subscriber and people that like these kind of contents and want more in the future. Make sure you click the link below and ask for an invite into the private Facebook group. If you have a legendary figure that you also want me to talk about, leave me a comment below so that I can research more in that person. Now, if you like these videos on my channels, I do post them every Tuesday. So please help me comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that notification bell once you subscribe so you get all my future video. All right, this is Jackie Go. I hope you found this interesting. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.